this summer, Mrs. Dennis. I am so excited to see you. We are going to have such an amazing summer as we dive into the wonderful world of math. So I hope you're ready to have an excellent day of teaching and learning as we dive into the wonderful world of monster math. Here we go. So today, Miss Dennis wants to teach you about how to add a standard algorithm to solve addition problems. So let's look at our objective. Can you say it with me? Objective. Great job, scholars. And our objective is just our goal that we want to accomplish by the end of our lesson today. So let's look at our objective. I can use standard algorithm to solve addition problems that involve regrouping once. Well, I know what you're thinking, <laughs> Ms. Dennis. What is a standard algorithm? Well, a standard algorithm is just a strategy used to solve addition problems. So today, we are going to learn a strategy to help us solve addition problems that re involve regrouping once. But before we get into our lesson, it's very important that we build our fact fluency. Fact fluency is just how quickly you know your math fact. And it's very important that every day you help to build that fact fluency to help you become a better mathematician. So let's start with a simple exercise. Now, addition. Does anybody remember what addition is? Great job. Addition is when you take two numbers and you add them together, you put them together to get the total number. So let's try off with something simple. Let's try the first set of monsters. Can you add their eyes? Hmm. Well, I know this monster has one eye plus this monster has two eyes. So one, plus two equals one, two, three eyes. Great job, did you get three? Excellent job, give yourself a pat on the back. Now let's try the next one. There's one, two eyes, plus one, two, three, four eyes. Well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six eyes total. Did you get six? Excellent job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now let's try the last one. One, two, three, plus one, two, three, four, five. So, hmm. You know what's another strategy we can use right now? Whenever you have to add, another strategy you can use is to put the bigger number in your head, and then you count up with the other number. So let's try that. What's the bigger number here? There's one, two, three, four, five eyes. So, hmm. I'm going to put the number five in my head, right? So five plus one, two, three. So five, six, seven, eight. So five plus three is eight. Excellent job. There are eight eyes all together. So now... Let's continue with our fact fluency, except this time we are going to try to find a pattern. So if we have a problem like 3 plus 9, right? So 9, 10, 11, 12. Excellent. So 3 plus 9 is 12. So if we know that 3 plus 9 is 12, what happens if we do 13 plus 9? Ooh, let's see. So, I know that 3 plus 9 is 12, and it looks like 13 is just adding 10 more. So, if I add 10 more to 12, then I get 22. Absolutely right. And now, if I know that, then if I do 23 plus 9, then I'm going to add 10 more. So if I do 22 and 10 more, I get 32. Great job. You are so smart. 
So now let's try these. Except this time, Miss Dennis is going to time you. <gasps> I will give you 15 seconds to solve the problem. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Okay, great. Here we go. 15 seconds. Go. Remember, put the bigger number in your head. Small hit. <laughs> so we have nine plus five. Oh, here we go. Time's up. Nine plus five is... You got it. It's 14. Great job. Let's see. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I added five more. Excellent. Five plus nine is 14. Let's try another one. Ready? 15 seconds left. Now I want you to solve 15 plus nine. Are you ready? Here we go. 15 plus nine. Okay, time's up. 15 plus 9 is 24. Great job. I'm so proud that you, I'm so proud of you for seeing that. Well, if 5 plus 9 is 14, then 15 plus 9 will be 24. Let's try one more. What happens if we now have 25 plus 9? 15 seconds. Go. Oh, time's up. 25 plus 9 is 34. Excellent job for noticing that pattern. Give yourself a round of applause. Great job. So now, is it math great? Let's give a whoop whoop to math. Ready? Whoop whoop to math. Great job. So now, Let's go back into our, our objective from earlier. Remember, I can use a standard algorithm to solve addition problems that involve regrouping once. Great job. So remember, a standard algorithm is just a strategy that you use to solve an addition problem. So let's look at our strategy for today. Today, we're going to use a great strategy that you can always use when solving addition problems. So, adds up to nine, everything is fine. Ten or more, take ten next door and leave the extra on the floor. Say it with me, ready? Adds up to nine, everything is fine, good job. 10 or more, take 10 next door, and leave the extra on the floor. So now, what does that mean? Let's go and practice some problems where we can really use and understand that strategy. So now, so now that we've learned the strategy, and Ms. Dennis is going to move herself over here, now we are going to take what we learned and we're going to solve these few problems. So let's see if we have 28 plus 11. Well, anytime we add, we always start with the ones place. So let's do 8 plus 1. Remember to always put the bigger number in your head. So we have 8 plus 1, 8. And if I add one more, 8, 9. So 8 plus 1 is 9. Excellent job. So now that I have, and I'm sorry, so now that I have 8 plus 1 is 9, now remember, adds up to 9, everything is fine. So do we do any regrouping right here? No, you are absolutely right because it doesn't make 10 yet, right? Only 10 or more. So now let's do 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 2. 
add one more is three. Absolutely. So two plus one is three. So 28 plus 11 is 39. Great job. Now let's see what happens when we have 28 plus 13. Remember, when you add, you always start with the ones place. Excellent job. You always start with the ones place. So 8 plus 3 is 8, 9, 10, 11. So 8 plus 3 is 11. So if I remember our strategy, if you have 10 or more, you have to take 10 next door and leave the extra on the floor. So 8 plus 3 is 11. So what would be my extra? Well, 10, 11. Excellent. So there's one more extra. And so we say 10 plus, I mean, 8 plus 3 is 11. You put down a 1 and you carry 10 next door. And that is why we see the 1 at the top of the 2 because this represents that group of 10 that we now brought to a new place. So then 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 1 more is 4. So 28 plus 13 is 41. Now let's try this with a word problem. And Miss Dennis is just going to move herself over if I can make myself a little smaller because now we're going to try this strategy with a word problem. Gonna move this down here with our little monster. Excuse me, monster. Now let's try with the word problem. Remember our strategy. I can use a standard algorithm to solve addition problem with regrouping only once. Great job. So, and here's our frogs in the pond. There are 175 frogs in one pond. And there are 53 frogs in another pond. How many frogs are in all? Oh, let's look at our frogs in the pond. So, first, when solving a word problem, you always, always, always find the numbers first. So I know that there's 175 frogs in one pond, and there's 53 frogs in another pond. So how am I going to set up my problem? Well, let's first look at what the question is asking us. It says, how many frogs are in all? So, hmm, I have 175 frogs in this pond and 53 frogs in this pond. And they want to know what's the total number of frogs. So that right there is telling me when I see in all, I know I need to add. So I'm going to add 175 frogs plus 53 frogs. You got it. So now, hmm, let's add the problem. Well, 5 plus 3 is 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 plus 3 is 8. Do we need to do any regrouping there? No, you are absolutely right because it's less than 9. And it's less than 10. So now let's try the next one. 7 plus 5. Well, I'm going to put the bigger number in my head. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hmm. So 7 plus 5 is 12. Well, if I remember my strategy, it says 10 or more, take 10 next door and leave the extra on the floor. You got it. So if it's 12, then I know that the extra would be, let's see, well, 10, 11, 12. So the extra would be two more. So I know I'm going to put the two down there because I have to leave my extra on the floor, remember. And then I'm going to carry over one more, which is the group of 10. So now I have one plus one, which is two. Plus, well, we know there's nothing here, so that is zero. So one plus one is two, and two plus zero is two, and so the total number is 228. But are we done? 
No, silly, you have to label because this could be 228 jelly beans. And we're not talking about jelly beans. We're talking about frogs. So there's 228 frogs total. Now it's your turn. I want you to try to solve this word problem now that we've solved one together. Remember our objective. I can use a standard algorithm to solve addition problems that involve regrouping once. Great job, scholars. So let's see our problem. In a baseball game, there are 258 adult tickets that are sold and 196 children tickets that are sold. How many tickets are sold all together? So we know first we find the numbers. Great job. So I know there's 258 adult tickets plus 196 children's tickets. And when they say all together, that means they want the total, which also means they want us to. Excellent job. They want us to add. So. Pause the video here and come back. And I want you to come back as soon as you're done, adding 258 plus 196. And make sure you come back because Miss Dennis will reveal the answer right when you continue playing the video. Welcome back. So, are you ready to check your answers? Here we go. Remember our objective. I can use a standard algorithm to solve addition problems that involve regrouping once. Great job. So, remember our problem. In a baseball game, there are 258 adult tickets and 196 children's tickets that are sold. How many tickets are sold? all together and we know before you left 258 plus 196 are you ready for the answer well we know 8 plus 6 is 14 so we leave four on the floor and we carry one more 5 plus 9 9 10 11 12 13 14 Plus one more is 15. We leave the extra on the floor and we carry one more. Two plus one is three. Plus one more is four. So the total number is 454 tickets. Great job. Did you get 454? If you did, give yourself a round of applause. Woo, woo, woo. Congratulations. Now, I want you to continue, grab your whiteboard and your notebook, and Miss Dennis is gonna make herself a little smaller as you try the rest of these problems here in your notebook. And I'm gonna put myself right here. I'll be watching as you solve the rest of these problems. So pause the video here, so that way you can solve these problems in your notebook. And when you're done, Miss Dennis will reveal the answer at the end. Here's a tip, make sure you count up. Don't forget our strategy. Adds up to nine, everything is fine. 10 or more, like 10 next door and leave the extra on the floor. And here are our answers. Make sure you check your work. Pause the video so that way you can check. How did you do? I know you did fabulous. Great job, scholars. I am so proud of you. Isn't math so amazing? 
Now that we've worked on these problems on our own, I want you to remember to go on to Reflex Math and go on Zern to continue practicing your problems. I will see you tomorrow. See you later. We're gonna dance our way from math. Go math, 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 go math. I'm so happy when I learn math. So exciting. Go math, go math, go math, go math, go math, go math. I'll see you tomorrow, scholars. Bye.